Personally, I've spent a lot of time by myself in the jungles of southern India, in the Himalayas. Now every year I spend time in Tibet. These days it's very difficult for me to be alone <laughs> people are all the time. And do you like that? Is that something that you, you now seek, that, that time alone or I'm is at my best when I'm alone. Oh. <laughs> and why is that? Why do you think that is? Uh, because I don't mess with myself. People sit by themselves and mess with themselves and make a mess out of themselves. Mm. If they stay alone, they'll go crazy, a whole lot of people. Mm. If one knows… if one enjoys being alone, it means they are definitely better organized psychologically, emotionally, far better organized than mm. others. One of the… one of the important processes of uh, spiritual sadhana we give, the tools that we offer, is always to go into silence. People go into silence. For… Uh, from three days to three years, four years like this, people go on silence, not saying a word to anybody. Well, in today's world where if they're having breakfast, they must take a picture of the breakfast, I'm having breakfast, if I'm going to the toilet, I'm going to the toilet. And when this is the world, <laughs> to just shut up and sit in one place takes a lot. Initially it looks like a struggle, but once you really taste what it is, you can't be without it. Mm. You just can't be without it. So it's like this. If I shut myself up once in a way from everything around me, because otherwise I'm seven days of the week, three and sixty-five days, twenty, twenty-two hours a day, I'm on, on, on <laughs> So, uh, if I shut myself, I don't read anything, I don't watch television, I don't use the phone, I don't even look out of the window. Because there is a phenomena of life within you which is far bigger than all the entertainment you have. Because most people are only living with their psychological drama of their own thought and emotion, they get bored, they want to do something else, they want interaction. But if you engage with the basic phenomena that you are, are you… are you alive? I'm just asking. Hello? No, no, please look at this. <laughs> please look at this in twenty-four hours' time. How many moments are you really life? Most of the time you're just a bundle of thoughts, emotions, ideas, opinions, ideologies, prejudices, something… something other than life. If you… if I just sit there, for five days, I don't have a single thought in my mind, I simply sit. They're the best times. If I do that once, next few years, non-stop, no vacation, no holiday, no weekly holiday, no nothing, we just go on and on and on <laughs> because once you touch the source of your life, the way the surface functions is almost… people… people around me think I'm superhuman. No, this is not about being superhuman. This is about realizing being human is super. It, <laughs> it is not for nothing, it is not for nothing that we are the peak of evolution on this planet. Hello? Are we? We are the peak of evolution on this planet. It's to make you the way you are. It took millions of years of work. Nature? has worked millions of years to get you to this level. But now all most be human beings can do is complain. This is a product which is arrived at after phenomenal development over a, a few million years. But now you're complaining about how it is because you've not explored the full depth and dimension of what a human being is. A human being is not just a bundle of thoughts and emotions. Like you're not just body, there's something more to this. Body you accumulated, what you call as my mind is an accumulation of impressions. This is a heap of food, that is a heap of impressions. Between these two heaps, where the hell are you? Yes, where are you? It's time everybody pays some attention because this life is not for good. 
Since you came and sat here, you are forty-five minutes closer to your grave <laughs> Yes, I'm not… It's a sobering I'm not, thought. I'm not wishing this on you, this is the nature of our life. This is not clock ticking away, it's our life ticking away, isn't it? Most people think other people die <laughs> you know? No, no, you and me will die. If you understand, if you understand that this is a limited amount of time and energy, you would see how to master this in some way. Do whatever you want, you can't stop one minute from rolling, isn't it? Hello? Whoever you may be, can you stop it? No, it's rolling away for all of us at the same pace. Well, how quickly, how rapidly or how slowly simply depends on how joyful or how miserable you are. If you are… have you noticed this on a specific day, you were very happy. Twenty-four hours, poof, went off like a moment. Another day you were depressed, twenty-four hours feel like a eon, <laughs> yes or no? So only miserable people can have a truly long life. <laughs> if, if you're really joyful, if you're very joyful, before you know what's happening, it gets over. <laughs> For the possibilities that a human being has come with, if you live to be hundred, it's really nothing. Hundred is not a long life, hundred is nothing. If you're really ecstatic, it'll just pass away like this in no time. If you're miserable, every day feels like hundred years. So time is a very relative experience, but the only thing that you can master is your energies. Energetically, if you are at a certain level of intensity, what somebody does in ten years, you will do in one year. Because of this, the impact and the profoundness of your experience, in terms of experience, the profoundness of experience, in terms of activity and impact in the world, it may be like thousand years, though you lived only hundred years, simply because you have multiplied yourself. But time is limited. Tamil people, you know some Tamil words? Now I'm going to… Seri. I'm… I'm going okay. to go Google okay. you with Tamil There's words. one, Seri <laughs> Like you chewed fat with me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you've got me. Come on then. <laughs> hit me with… hit me with something. <laughs> In Tamil language, this is very well said. When somebody dies, we don't say he died. We say, kalamai tange, that means his time got over, mm. perfect. Mm. It's a perfect description, time got over, that's all that happened. Mm. Time is getting over even now, isn't it so? Mm. How young you are, how healthy you are, how wonderful you are, it doesn't matter. Time is getting over. If you're conscious that you're mortal and it's a limited amount of time, mm. naturally you would tweak up your energies to such a level that time would be enhanced for you. Mm. Otherwise, if you think you are here forever, you think you are an eternal being, then you have time for all kinds of rubbish that you don't care for. If you knew it is very limited, you wouldn't do one thing that doesn't matter to you, isn't it? Hello? Would you have… If you really knew, see, every day nearly quarter million people die on this planet just by natural process. And you think those people are all thinking, tomorrow morning I will die? Hello? You think so? No. Lot of people were going to their office, somebody was going home, somebody had all kinds of dreams, young people, old people, all sorts of people die every day in the world. If you knew that it is possible, it's not my wish, I'll bless you with a long life, <laughs> but it's possible tomorrow morning you and me could be dead, isn't it? Hello? Possible or no? It's not our wish, possible or no? If you know it is possible, that it is possible tomorrow morning I could be dead, would you have time to quarrel with somebody? Would you have time to bicker with someone else, do some nonsense that doesn't matter to you? You would do only what truly, truly matters to you. If every moment of your life, if you're doing what really, really matters to you, you will live a wonderful life. Beautiful said. <laughs>